Yan ang pag-aakala ni Lisa Marcos na lahat ng Pilipino ay luluhod sa kanya para magkaroon ng posisyon. Sasampalin kitang babae ka. Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo. At hindi ko kailangan ang posisyon mo. Flashback. Tapos ito ang sabi niya, di bali na. Pag nanalo tayo, gagawin kitang komisyoner ng Comelec. Natuwa ako doon. Natuwa ako doon. Natuwa ako doon. At hindi ko kailangan ang posisyon mo. Natuwa ako doon. Natuwa ako doon. Natuwa ako doon. Sasampalin kitang babae ka. Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo. Ang in-expect ko really is the messaging is about love, about unity. Kasi that's what the Bible says, right? That's what Christianity says. Sasampalin kitang babae ka. Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo. Kung paano mo tinatrato ang mga napakaganda, empowered, saka mga mabubuting kababaihan, eh, reflection yan kung paano mo tinatrato ang nanay mo. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. Sasampalin kitang babae ka! Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo! That is actually the exact opposite of what we, from the outside, looking at you Christians, would hope to hear from you. Sasampalin kitang babae ka! Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo! Kung ito sinabi laban sa asawa ko, may mararamdaman ko. Sasampalin kitang babae ka! Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo! It pains me, no? Because the one who made this statement publicly is a lawyer. Sasampalin kitang babae ka! Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo! Kung ito sinabi laban sa asawa ko, may mararamdaman ko. Being a Filipino na dapat irespetuhin ang dangal ng isang babae. Sasampalin kitang babae ka! Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo! He used to be a congressman. What happened to his honorable quote-unquote title that he holds? He's a lawyer. He knows what's wrong and what's right. Sasampalin kitang babae ka! Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo! Because I don't think that the world, or the Philippines for that matter, deserves those in, prof in the profession that act like that. Sasampalin kitang babae ka! Hindi ako luluhod sa'yo! That has no place in Philippine society to do that on TV, on stage, in front of millions of Filipinos. It has no place whatsoever. Magandang umaga po. Hingi lang po sa ng thoughts nyo dun sa kumakalat sa social media na ipadisbar daw po si former congressman Chong regarding dun sa sinabi niya kay First Lady. Uh, sa prayer na alam nila. Oh. Ako ata pinauna nila kasi para objective yung aking <laughs> pananaw. No, I, I just don't want to be the one to remind you of what your Bible says in, in treating women. I, I presume, since it's a prayer rally and it's a part of a Christian uh, denomination, uh, ako from an outsider, um, ang in ko really is the messaging is about love, about unity, kasi that's what the Bible says, right? That's what Christianity says. Uh, and so to have somebody there on the platform uh, speaking about how to mistreat a specific individual, regardless whether she is a the first lady or not, kasi babae siya. That is actually the exact opposite of what we from the outside, looking at you Christians, would hope to hear from you. So, pangalawa, uh, yung move for a disbar move for disbarment kay Congress uh, Congressman. I, I think yung mga ganong klasing sentimento na sinasabi publicly using an event uh, that you 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 are actually you know that many are looking at the you know, media it's gaining more media trend attention kasi uh, connected ito doon sa kanilang leader na may mga pending um, cases, uh, both houses are also uh, the Senate and the House of Representatives are uh, in investigating. So, of course, maraming nakatutok dyan and using that platform to demean a, a, a particular person. And that kind of bold statement is actually, at, ano, it, it hits 
no, straight to the sensitivity of, of, of being a Filipino. I think yung mga ganong grupo uh, na pupunta na na gusto na lang ipadisbar yung a certain individual, former congressman, it speaks about the, our collective sense of uh, ano, no? yung auto, our collective sense of being a Filipino na dapat irespetuhin ng dangal ng isang babae. Yan ang pag-aakala ni Lisa Marcos na lahat ng Pilipino ay luluhod sa kanya para magkaroon ng posisyon. Sasampalin kitang babae ka. Hindi ako luluhod sa iyo. At hindi ko kailangan ang posisyon mo. It's not only unbecoming of him as a person, but it's also an un, unbecoming of him as a pardon my my language as a Filipino and as a Christian. Sir uh, Sir Billy, may may nagkaso na ba? Uh, call pa lang po. Ah, just call. Me. Okay. Um, I'll just answer this very short, uh, very short and sweet. Tabi ko. Um, kung paano mo tatratuhin ang mga kung paano mo tinatrato ang mga napakaganda, empowered, saka mga mabubuting kababaihan, eh, reflection yan kung paano mo tinatrato ang nanay mo. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. Before the lawyer speaks, um, ako naman, I've already uh, mentioned my position on this. <laughs> Ilalagay ko yung sarili ko sa sitwasyon na kung ito sinabi laban sa asawa ko, ay mararamdaman ko. Kung itong tao na ito sinabi ito laban sa misis ko, sa misis ko o sa nanay, ay mararamdaman ko. Hindi ba disgusto? Hindi ba galit? I mean, he used to be a congressman. What happened to his honorable quote-unquote title that he holds? He's a lawyer. He knows what's wrong and what's right. That has no place in Philippine society to do that on TV, on stage, in front of millions of Filipinos. It has no place whatsoever. And if there is any legal ground to find him, uh, to penalize him, uh, ako, I will support it. I will support it because I don't think there is no place in that in Philippine society. Well, uh, just to add, no, um, it pains me no, because the one who made this statement publicly is a lawyer. One who is uh, in the same uh, profession and uh, it reflects not to the legal profession. So, having uh, said that, meron pong mga panawagan na investigahan at uh, file ng kaso for possible disbarment case. And for me personally, there is enough ground because as a lawyer in a legal profession, we have this code of professional responsibility and accountability or SIPRA. Uh, it states basically that we have duties not just to our clients, not just to the courts, but to the society in general. Yun po kasi niyang statement no, against First Lady uh, Marcos is a reflection that is something that is disrespectful. Not because the utterances was, were made against the First Lady, but this attitude reflects towards the women in general. And that is why this matter should be investigated by the proper authorities, such, such as the uh, Integrated Bar of the Philippines, as well as the Supreme Court of the Philippines, so that we will uphold accountability <coughs> and uphold the integrity of the legal profession. I'd, like, I'd just like to add na rin, um, para nakalimutan natin yan na Women's Month ngayon. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I, uh, okay, quite frankly, hindi ako makaka-relate kasi single ako. <laughs> Wala pang jowa, pero, I mean, um, the respect to women uh, is a very universal language no? across all, all populations, all religions, ev everything, you name it. And, to to disrespect one in any private setting is already bad enough what more when you bring it to the public setting where there are there's media coverage there are people watching that i'm very sure none of them expected that kind of remark coming from him as well so as what was mentioned kanina by congressman jill now it is also conduct unbecoming 
of a lawyer who is practicing that particular profession. So, kung my investigation, go. Because I don't think that the world or the Philippines, for that matter, deserves those in, prof in the profession that act like that. I think na you know it it, it, it really pains me. Uh, and what what was mentioned kanina with uh, uh, with DSJJ, na I'd imagine if that somebody said that to my mother, no, I'd be really enraged and disappointed. But again, um, I think that this needs to be looked into. And I hope that there are no cases that, or at least no other persons uh, that would replicate this kind of behavior.